Okay, we are ready to paint your self-portraits. So, first of all, you have to make sure that you follow the grid exactly. If you did not, you may not paint. You must follow the grid. You must make sure that you draw the shapes. If you don't have shapes drawn, you're going to be lost. You have to make sure that you follow the shapes. So, you will need for this, you will need to get into your cubby. In the bottom, you should have a gallon of water. You may not use the sink to rinse your brushes. Fill up your gallon of water if you need to. Cups are in the bottom here. Do not leave those in the sink. They do not belong in the sink. Second drawer are your paint shirts. Get a paint shirt on. This paint will not come out. And your brush cleaner. And as your brush gets dirty, Dump it into your sink here and then fill it up with fresh water. If you need to, you just keep filling it up. At the end of class, dump this. Don't keep going to the sink. So to figure out which paints I need, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to sign up, sign up here for my paint. And my paints need to be, these are not put away correctly. All right. To take your paints out, put them like this. They should be upside down. I don't care if they're in order, but they all have to have the lids on. Put this on like this. Put your finger under there. And they are all in there correctly. Make sure that they are all in there correctly. Okay, do not mix colors. You need to make sure that your brush is clean. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go and erase a few of these lines out. I'm not going to erase any of my detail, I'm just going to erase out the lines. And then I think it's best if you just choose one color, do all of one color first. I'm going to start with the white. And choose a paintbrush. Let's see. That's going to allow you to stay in those spaces. And then think about it. if you're right-handed, start on the left-hand side so that you're not running your fingers through it. And to get the correct color, take the back of your brush and just dab it on your laminated copy and that will help you figure out what color, what value you should have. Okay, then you want to make sure that you've got enough paint on your brush but not too much. If it's dripping, that's a problem. And you're going to drag it along the edge. Now, paintings do not have one coat of paint. You're going to have several coats of paint. This little line here, I'm going to try to go around that. Now, don't erase out your letters and your numbers, because if you make a mistake, this is the only way you're going to come back and, and fix, figure out where you made the mistake. So don't erase those. If you make a mistake with your paint, just let it dry. Go to another part, come back to it later. Now notice that there's several different shades here. There's a black and there's a gray. So you want to make sure that you have each one of those drawn as a shape. If you just drew it in as a value, you're going to have a hard time. So make sure that those are all shapes. And you're just going to go through now and paint your self-portrait. Take your time. Make sure you're following your grid. If you see a point, like right here, this is a wider, much wider line than he has. He needs to go back and fix that. So I'm not going to paint over that right now. I'm going to paint around that for right now. Because he needs to stop and get out his pencil and fix that. All right, that's all there is to it. Stop.